in my last week in office as president of city council i behaved in appropriately with a city employee who came into my office to wish me well on my transition to mayor in the emotion of the moment i turned a goodbye hug into a too personal encounter i have known this employee for over 14 years we have always had a very professional relationship and i clearly violated a professional and personal boundary. I've spent 37 years in law enforcement and spent many, many years working for victim assistance. I regret violating the very same principles I've spent my entire career upholding. I offered my unconditional apology to this employee. I apologize to my wonderful wife of 25 years. I apologize to my cabinet members. I apologize to the Money Penny family. And now I offer my apology to the citizens of Akron who trust me to serve as their interim mayor. I take full responsibility for my actions. I know this incident calls into question my character and trustworthiness. For this reason, I've decided I will not be a candidate for mayor and I will not appear on the ballot in September nor November. I will do my best to serve as mayor for the interim and will pledge my support to the new administration when the new mayor is elected. I'll take a few questions. Mayor, is, uh, the situation is serious enough for you to not seek re-election. Is it appropriate for you to continue serving in office? Uh, I've been elected to this position by my peers on council and put into this position as our charter. But I believe I'm still at this point the best to move forward with this city. On, on this interim basis. Well, why can't you? Why can't you go forward with the election? You know, what's the difference between staying on now well, and I, moving forward? I've made a mistake here. That, uh, there are people who got out of this election race, so I could run, and this gives them time. There's plenty of time for them to go out and get their signatures at this point. Uh, I've made a mistake, and I take full ownership for that mistake. Though. Mayor, has there has there been any? The only word I can use is threats of any kind to, to use this against you if you were to run. Absolutely not. But politics is probably, it, 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 it was not a secret. It wasn't going to stay a secret. It was going to surface. And um, I'm taking ownership. I mean, it's my fault. You're, but, you've been in law enforcement. Were your actions, did they cross the line into criminal conduct? No, I do not believe so. Why not? What occurred? Because, like you said, I spent some time in law enforcement, and I know. I'm not going to go into details. I'm not going to name the female at this time. She's a city employee. But bottom line is, I'm the mayor, and the buck stops with me. Did she accept your apology? Um, well, she was offended, as she rightfully should, should be. Uh, Carrie, can you tell us what day this happened? Yes, this was in the, uh, my last week in council, so sometime the week of the 22nd, or I'm sorry, 22nd, 24th, week of the 24th. Yeah. And where did it happen? And as I said, in my council office. Why did it take so long to reach this decision? Well, I, I realize it's a mistake. She's offended. Um, others did become aware of it. Rather than just let it fester and deny or run from the situation, uh, I was always raised that when you make a mistake, you take ownership, and I'm taking ownership. Why did it take so long to take ownership? I, I don't think I realized the severity of her being offended. She's somebody, and that's what makes this even harder, is she's somebody that I have the highest regard and highest opinions of, and I clearly crossed a, a line. She filed a formal grievance in any process, any report, anything? Absolutely not. I mean, not to my knowledge, but I mean, all indications are no. So, so who did she file a com complaint, a complaint to? She has to be a complainant. Mm -hmm. It's not my understanding at this point that she's filed a complaint. So who did she go to to report to what happened? Well, city HR. Sure. The HR in the city. What will you do next? I mean, you go take your council seat back, run for that, or? No, uh, my council seat, um, well, I'm, I, I don't believe it's going to be running for any public office. Are you, 
We're done. now done with done. the press conference. He's done taking incident? questions. One single incident? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Everything is in his press statement. There will be no other statements on this.